All right, lads, before we start today's yarn, I want to shout out Manscaped. They're supporting today's episode of The Search. They've launched a new product, the Lawnmower 4.0, right? It's the best clipper for shaving down there. Legit, it's the best clipper. You know all them other clippers, they cut you, they graze you, this and that. It's the best clipper, and I got a, I got a code for you. If you go to manscaped.com, you get 20% off by using the code The Search. You can click the link in the description, it'll be there. I'll go to manscaped.com. Make sure you use the code The Search, you get 20% off. Gun clipper, lad, go check it out. Eats. Because it's more than just like within our crew, within our like, um, with our, with our family and that and our brotherhood kind of thing it's more than that like yeah. we got like 15 14 year old kids from the beaches like throwing yeah. up one four with this and that yeah, it's crazy yeah, yeah. you know so we we run ourselves with standards and shit we mm. don't like you know we like to keep our head high with our name and shit like that yeah and it's more than just like a bunch of, of kids that came out from like like a disadvantaged area and yeah. shit like that just um you know doing crime this and that it's more than that bro yeah yeah Welcome back to another episode of The Search. I'm Spanian, this is my podcast. I'm G today. Today's guest is a member of one of the most infamous and controversial rap groups to ever come out of Australia. They are the most infamous and controversial rap group to come out of Australia. They've collaborated with international artists such as Kid Leroy, Stormzy, Hedy One, racked up tens of millions of YouTube views and streams, all the while being heavily targeted by the New South Wales police. That's huge. He's fresh home after spending two years in prison, just dropped a new song, Out of Sight. I, lis I listened to it this morning, Gun Song. And today is his first ever video interview. Repping Mount Jewel in Western Sydney. Today's guest is none other than YP from 1-4. Welcome to The Search, lad. Great to have you on the podcast. It's good to be here, bro. Nice, nice. Your first interview, bro. Yeah. I feel lucky, brother. Why <laughs> me, brother? 100%. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, let's cut, lad. Bro, you're from Mount Jewel. Always? Yeah, originated there. Yeah? Still there for now, but... Yeah, we're not staying there right now. Oh, you're not staying there right now. But you grew up there? Grew up there, yeah. What specific part? I don't really know the parts. I know so, like Wayland. Yeah. That's about Jewel, right? Yeah. That's where you're from? Did I guess it? Nah. Oh. So like, um, <laughs> don't get me wrong, we originated in Mount Jewel and that. And yep. so growing up for us, it wasn't like a stable kind of, you know, house. So we yeah, always yeah, had yeah. to move around, so to speak. So we originated in Trezil, which is Trigir. Yeah. <laughs> moved Trizil. to Wayland. Nice. And then I uh, stayed there for a couple of years. And then we went to Wilmot. I think by that time we was around hitting our teens, you know. Yeah. And then boom, uh, uh, we moved out to Plumpton, yeah, Oakhurst. Yeah. And then all I of those are suburbs in Mount Druitt. Yeah, all yeah. of them are suburbs yeah. except uh, Oakhurst. So Oakhurst is like, it's around that same area. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of... um. On the outskirts, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But originated there, but same boys, raised there, same, born yeah. there, and like, you know? Yeah, 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 hectic, hectic. What's it like out there, bro? Like, because obviously, I think yous are a major part of it amongst mm, everything yeah, else that goes on there has given pretty much the whole country like a notorious... Uh, 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 they, people idolise Mount Jewett. They do. You hear kids in Melbourne, kids in Adelaide talking about Mount Jewett. Like, yeah, well, what's it like to you? What, how do you see Mount Jewett as opposed to what you think other people see it? Because, like, I'm coming from there and that. I guess I just see it as home, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't really see it as, like, the trenches. Yeah, you know? I don't yeah, see yeah. it, like, as the pits, you know. Some people call it, like, you know, the ghetto, you know, yeah, of Sydney. Yeah, yeah. But, like, bro, like, growing up there, being from there, being around the people, growing up with the people that are from that city... Bro, it's like home, you know? Yeah. You, you learn to, to, to know everyone's faces, so you know who's around, who's who, this and that, who runs with what, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So And you don't yeah, know I'll any different. So it's like you can only just see it as home, you know what I mean? Exactly. Because it's all you know, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. People ask me about like how, so like places that I've grown up have had like a notorious name. They ask you how you feel. So I don't know, bro. It's just, it's just where I live, you know what I mean? It's just, Andrew. it's hard to put words on it like that, yeah. And bro, like, how long, how long you, is rapping a big thing in the hood there? I feel like um, since like music's picked up in Australia, yeah, like it's probably one of the hot spots for for artists. Like you got people that weren't even doing music back when we was trying to start up and shit like that. You got like forty players. Like no, no, like I'm not trying to talk down on no one that's trying to get that hustle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just it's crazy to see that shit like going well, up. Well, you know what I mean? You got forty players. What like making music? Not necessarily footy players, oh, but yeah. like people that like you know footy players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got like you know 
all sorts of like different backgrounds, barbers, this and that. They yeah. all making music now, yeah, and it's yeah. just crazy to see how everything's that's picked it. up. Yeah, that's crazy. Hectic. Yeah, 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 that's mad. How long have you? How long? When did you start rapping? And did you start when you started rapping? Did you all start rapping together? You and the rest of the boys in one fours. Nah. Honestly, like I didn't start fucking rapping till like when was the? I think it was a drink up at my house. Yeah, I remember we used to uh, chill in the back. Our, our garage was the spot. Anyone that knew us, who who knew who we were surrounded with, they didn't lock. No knock on the door, just boom, lift the garage. Yo, what's going on? This yo, and that. Yo, yo. Boom, we used to chill in there, and she locked that. And uh, yeah, that's where I felt like I, I started rapping. So it was one drink up in particular. I think it was New Year's. I don't even think my brother was out at the time. I think he was still in inside. JM's? Yeah, JM's. Yep, yep. And like the boys were He's your older their brother. verses and shit. Yeah, yep, yep. my older brother. And I just like, you know, because cause that lifestyle we were living, I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna rap too. I want to tell my story as well, you know? Yeah, hectic. So then like I jumped up, we started spitting bars, this and that, and then... Yeah, kind of picked up from there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you've always seen rap? Like, I noticed there you said you wanted to tell your story. Yeah. Is that how you've always seen rap and the boys from your hood, they've always seen rap that way? It's like a way to tell your story? Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Like, I'll be I'll be real. Like, yeah. straight out. Just it flex. started on, on dumb shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was just, you know, feuding with stupid people, this yeah. and that. And, like, I guess it kind of uh, started with social media. As soon as social media picked up, it was like, oh, well, yeah, you know, like, it's like that, eh? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like, you know, exchanging words over socials and yeah. that led to music. One thing led to another where we're, we're rapping drill, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's like, I kind of, I feel like where our music generated from. Yeah. And while we could relate so much to like other rappers from like different countries talking about their struggle, their, yeah, sh yeah. their life and shit, yeah. you know? So yeah. yeah. Mad. And what, how long were you rapping before you become one four? And when did you like? When did that kick off? Like you should just rap and, you st and so what? Like a, that that yarn you went through then in the, yeah. in the garages and that, and then you you chose to become one four, and then you kicked off, or you oh, kicked nah, over yeah. and looked at you, and then you gave yourself a name. No, nah, so we uh, I, I feel like we started one four a lot earlier than um we picked up on uh 2018. I feel like the, the yep. music started really going. Yeah, yeah. So before that, the boys were dropping tracks like uh ready for war some of the solo shit that like one of my brothers is doing time right now that yo. he was doing so fucking free silly you know but yo, yo. like solo tracks like that and like yeah it kind of picked up from from 2018 i remember this bloke he come out to to mount Jewel, he wanted to see how it was like and like we got talking this and that he said he could help us help us out with our situation mm -hmm. and then from there we led we, we ended up in uh, sony studios and then oh, no like, way. From there, we really wanted to pick up music properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what like kind of made one for, I guess. Yeah, heck. Like who we are today and shit. Yeah. So someone just approached you, seen seen the potential, gave yeah. you the arm. Next yeah. minute, Sony Studios. Yeah, oh, oh, it's exactly heck. how you you said it because <laughs> it was weird for us knowing that yeah. we were getting recognised from people yeah. that were in the industry and shit. You yeah, know, because yeah, at the yeah. at the time, our, our our main focus wasn't on that, wasn't on this. It was solely like within the streets. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So fucking um, when um, we got reached out from that bloke, it was like, oh, this is crazy, you know? And then yeah, yeah. Fucking, I think it was in that same month he reached out, boom, we was in that studio in, in Sony and just so you'd have been smashing. Rapped. Yeah, we were You would have been Just rapped. smashing tracks, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy, you'd yeah. Have been the new, like the superstars, eh? <laughs> I guess so at the time, yeah, yeah you can 100%. say that. Because like, no one was doing what we was doing at yeah. the time. No one was um, rapping or, yeah, or yeah, doing yeah. any music, you know? Yeah. And bro, so when you were like, when, when all this happened, when you were making the songs yeah. around that time, you always had your face covered. Mm. Yeah, that's because you were on bail or something like that? Um, no, so like, um, what's yeah. the yarn? No, <laughs> what's just, the yarn? Um, Tell me, I'm probably way off. Don't let me throw you off. Is there a reason? Yeah, there oh, was, was just a reason. These? I just really liked right, the, right, the belly that I had, so I was like, right, yeah, chuck it on, you know? No, <laughs> no but yeah, uh, I was running, I, was, uh, I had a couple cases going at the yeah. time. And uh, yeah, so like, for me to to be in front of the screen, yeah. it was very uncomfortable. So I just said, look, bro, look, from a law perspective and yeah. shit like that, I can't have my face up there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then that's I solely why I was uh, wearing that mask at the time. Yo. And yeah. And then I remember um, you pulled it. You, you got it. What's that song when you're in the church? And then you didn't it was, have it on. Uh, 
In the beginning, I think. It in was. the beginning, yeah. that was it. Uh, yeah, that was cracker. Yeah. And then you decided the unveiling, lad. Yeah, like at a that WWF point of, moment. You know, yeah. maybe it was like a WF moment, right? Ray Mysterio. <laughs> Hundred. Yeah, fucking nice. And bro, like you end up going to jail. So in the midst of all of this, he's a popping off. Everything's getting big. You're making out all the the gun clips. Biggest yeah. rappers in Australia. That whole time you're on bail, going to court. Yeah. And that um, was the you're fighting a case, or you were just waiting for sentencing. I was. F so like um before the music kind of picked up. We was already like had priors like from yeah. juvie this and that like but i felt like as soon as um the music picked up there was a situation where i just recently got out from that kind of like took the turn for the worse which yeah, was yeah. going and serving time you know yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah i was fighting one case which ended up which ended up getting dropped yeah and then i had another case which i uh, i got you know guilty we pled guilty off the bat you yeah, know so yeah. And you got sentenced from from the outside. You're going to court. Yeah, yeah from yeah. the outside. Where? What? Penrith. Penrith. Penrith but yeah. I got. Uh, I think it got moved here yeah, to the Downing Centre. Oh so yeah. I got yeah. Sentenced the to the Downing, Downing Centre. Centre. So you went from. Bro, I've never done that, bro. That must be the honesty, the most putrid feeling, because mm. like every time I got ousted, I got upgraded, and then I'm like, oh, you, it's you, you're done. You're in the paddy. That's it. But like the feeling, I always think like if you get bail, but you know, you know, you're you're going to jail. And that morning you wake up and you're putting your clothes on and you think like, this is it. Like, I'm yeah, going. And you're definitely. But I reckon that's a worse feeling. That's, yeah, it is, a eh? feeling, yeah. Because imagine that, bro. I swear I'd barely be able to make it. I'd be like, you know, halfway there, bro, I'd just disappear. I swear. <laughs> It'd be the putridest feeling. So you got, so you went in from Downing Centre on that day? Yeah, Downing Centre. Sorry, yourselves? Yeah. Yeah. Snootred. Snootred, eh? How yeah. long were you there for? Just a few we, days? Yeah, I think like a couple, couple days. And then yeah. like, yeah, made the break. Then MRR. MRR. And you got class. So you already sentenced, no more court. C2 straight off the bat? Nah, so I, I, I got like uh, class A2 oh, straight off the bullshit. bat. Yeah, I guess like, I, I don't know the situation with that. Like, I had another charge that I was fighting for yeah, the time yeah. that ended up getting dropped. So yeah. they kept me A2 unsentenced. Yeah. And then by that time, like, I guess, you know, how jail leads, you yeah. catch, you, you know, yeah, in there, yeah. this and that, you're doing stupid shit, you end up yeah, remaining yeah. A2, you know? So yeah, I was yeah. A2 the whole time. Oh, spewing. Yeah. Where were you? So most of the time? I, most of my time, like, where'd you get out I from? was at uh, two jails. So yeah. I just got out of Clarence, which is the newest jail. So living conditions, they're, they're cracker. I, the I one want, near Wello? Nah, that's, this is going up towards Grafton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So living conditions were good. Uh, one thing that was uh, that made that jail like crazy was uh, definitely the amount of boys that were in that yard. Oh yeah. So there's about like I'd say about 150 to 200 boys there in one yard. In one yard. No way. Yeah. So there's there was six pods. Like that, bro. This is like one of the first. Yeah, yeah. That's like that. The only other jail I remember being like that was Parramatta. Parramatta was like four, five, and six all into one yard, and it was the only jail like that. Oh, and yeah. it intensifies everything, lad. Of course. It does. Yeah, it because really all the does. other yards, they're limited to, what, 64 people. Max, so, yeah. yeah and, and they do that on purpose. And that's the reason they do that is because the more numbers, it intensifies right. everything. Everything turns, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Fuck. Is that in that jail? Is that the dorms thing? Nah, so nah, that's, um, I think it was Macquarie. You're talking about Macquarie, Macquarie. yeah. Macquarie. Is that the one in Wella? Yeah, that's the one right, in Willa. Like six that's the, yeah. I think that's what everyone was calling like the, the penthouse and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't get locked in. Yeah, don't get locked in. Apparently, you get like locked. all the Angie guys are up the top in the windows and oh, they're watching you oh. while you sleep or something. Like it's full putrid. Yeah, like you're I not in a cell, but like there's all like, they just sit there staring at you all night. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. I always spun out like on jails like that, bro. Let me ask you, lad, like when you went in being a famous rapper, did you get recognized much? Did you get, did, did screws like know who you were? Did you get treated different? Like, how was the experience like that? Nah, I, I felt like um, going in there, being who we were, like affiliated with the people I was with. Yep. Like I was kind of like on the, in the spotlight for a bit. I remember I come in like pod 10, you know, yep. and um, MRR. It wasn't like, all right, you know, he's better this and that. It was like, all right, he's here, you know, so yeah. he's one of us now. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like still in green, still this yeah, and that. Yeah, you're yeah. not you're not in any other clothes. So 
But I de- definitely got recognised by a lot of people in yeah, there as yeah. well, you know? Yeah, 100%. People coming up in the yard, rapping like my verses. It was crazy, but like... Oh, no way. Like, you can't really... You can't really take your, your head to that because you're yeah. in jail, you know? You're, yeah, 100%. You're, you're looking at fools, yeah. Did everyone come up and rap you there, Bodgy versus? Did you get sick of it? <laughs> too many times. Bro, I could friend. imagine, too, bro. Too many times, I could bro. imagine. <laughs> Sometimes I had to tell him, bro, like, um, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine, bro, like... Even back, even back, like before as a rapper, like even just knowing that people knew that I rapped on the sly, yeah, the shittest rappers, lad. And you, and because you want to be polite, of you know course. what I mean? You just sitting there and you're looking at you, just thinking, fuck, go away, <laughs> bro. You know what I mean? Of course, <laughs> people would be no, what lads in there, they're saying, bro, when we get out, I'll do a song with you. As oh, one yeah. <laughs> songs, them in one four, eh? yeah. <laughs> no, 100%. Hell. So, bro, like when you were in there, the rest of the boys who were out. Or your brother and Spenny, yeah. they were killing it. Like they they killed mm. it. Like it, it got massive for them, lad. And it got to the point like where you're all at now. And a lot happened since you went in. Yeah. And like, how did how did you feel about that? Because oh, I know me personally, like I know we said this before. Me personally, like yeah, I would have been. If you asked me, I would have been like, yeah, it's hectic, like this and that. Yeah. On the sly, like I would have been like, fuck, am I gonna miss out? Like, I would have thought, like, if I get out, is it too late? Like, are they still, are they still gonna, you know, are people still gonna care in a year? Like, I would have been, like, a bit dirty, you know? How was it for you? Oh, right, shout out, like, yeah, nah, I was all happy for them, bro, because, like, you know how it is growing up, yeah. you're always trying to, like, make a hustle, this and that. So, you're always respecting, like, a, a hustle. So, yeah. like, especially if it's my brothers, bro, I can't hate on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not course. gonna, like, kind of, like, sit and think, bro, that should be me, like, why are they, you know, going and doing that? So, like, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. seeing it from, like, the outsider's perspective in, it was like, fuck yeah, you know, my brothers yeah, are doing yeah. their thing. I just hope that when I do get out, the yeah. platform, the wave's still going, that we still can, going, like, I can still make music, you know, yeah, and I yeah. can still make my earn and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And what was your, like, perspective on what, on what they were doing? Were you happy with what they were doing? Were you, did you have any input? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I had a lot to say and yeah. like um, <laughs> certain things like just the music music way and shit. I know I used to kill my brother's ear when I used to speak to him. I'm trying to yeah, give him yeah. all advice. Like, oh, bro, you know this and that. <laughs> but he's just like, yep, yep, yep. He was saying And that then like, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I knew like I, I had a lot to say, but yeah. it's not my place to kind of say what they do when like, you know, I'm yeah, yeah. sitting in the cell. So I just always gave them my advice yeah. the best way I can and then like, just kind of leaving in their shoes and see what they yeah. do, you know? So, and, yeah, I had a lot to say. That's like Selly. He's, he's still locked up? Yeah, Sel's locked up. Did you see him in there? No, nah, they keep his apart nah. on purpose? Yeah. I felt like, um, because at one stage of my lagging, they were housing all us one four boys at um, Shortland, you know? So yeah. there was about... Where's that? Why do I not know any jails anymore? Where's Shortland? I, I feel like there's ones, too many jails now. There yeah, is. there's a, even certain jails are getting locked. Built like yeah, yeah. next to jails, just because ones in the next yeah, to the so old ones. Yeah, so that's Cessnock. That's Cessnock. Shortland is Shortland's Cessnock. Oh, Shortland is its own jail, but mm-hmm. Cessnock is next door. All oh, right, yeah. So yep. I kind of felt like um, they've you know overpopulated yeah, the yeah. system, this yeah, and that, yeah, and yeah. so now like you got jails everywhere in the yeah, middle yeah. of fucking in the middle of Grafton. Yeah, like, yeah, there was yeah. just a jail here. Like why are you building <laughs> another one there? You know? <laughs> I know why. But yeah, so like Shortland was right next to a uh, 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 Cessnock. And there was only one one uh, A2 Maxo kind of a uh, wing in Cessnock. Yeah. And the rest was C-Classo. So I guess they all, they kept all the Maxo boys in Shortland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And at one stage of my leg, and they were housing us all there. So there was me and all, a couple of my mates, a couple of the boys yeah. that I, I was running with. And we, it was just, it was hectic, you know? Yeah. Best jail, because you, you're doing jail with your brothers. Oh, it didn't nice. feel like jail, you know? Was it mo- like mostly good times? Oh, bro, jail's never good. You know how yeah, it is, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, like, you, you mingle this and that. It takes you away from that, like, yeah, um, yeah. reality for a bit. But then once you're locked in, bro, it's all right, you know? Yeah. I know. It's you know? Yeah. Is, bro. Yeah. The end of my little jail stints, bro, I started hating it, lad. And the more I thought about it, the more I hated it. Mm. Like, you know, early on, bro, when I was younger, like, Stuff. Yeah, it's because fun. Because yeah. it was fun, bro. 100%. It was fun. Especially when you got that mentality coming from Cobham to jail. And it's just like, it's fun, but in a way, like, I wish I always stayed fun because it's like a defense mechanism for you because yeah. you're happy. And then 100%. when you get older and you think more, 
and it, what is wiser and more responsible, but it makes it harder for you, bro. And it, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah, you're always definitely. thinking what you're missing out on and Oof. yeah, you're overthinking things. Bro, so since you've been out, you've still been, you trained in there? Obviously, you trained in there. Yeah. I've seen the photos you've been posting since you're out. You've been, <laughs> yeah, bro. What, what were we doing in there? Like, what type of training were you getting into? What's the thing in there now, bro? CrossFit bro, still? Yeah, like, CrossFit is, is the training because you yep. know how it is. They took all our waste away, this yep. and that. So, like, Boys that can make their own own uh, equipment and shit mm. to train, then everyone just uses that. Yeah. So, but there's not there's not much of that going around there's like the much. jails and that. So, can you, you say you're talking about like water bags, water bags on the end of yeah. feet, the detergent bottles, yeah, doing exactly. shoulders with them. Yeah. Do, do the screws run straight out as soon as you do it still, or they let you go a bit? Depends what. Depends. Jail. Yeah. So yeah. like the jail wheels in, there ain't no. There's not one, two, three screws that's gonna run in that 150, oh, 200 the boys. Heaps of yeah. boys. Like and try and like kick up a yeah. kick up a stink with yeah, everyone. Yeah, 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 so yeah, what yeah. they used to do was like, all right, whatever's like left in the yard, they're gonna come and they'll just go ahead and pop it this and that. We yeah, come yeah. out the next morning. Oh, we forgot every to, day they would have done forgot that. to yeah, uh, yeah, leave yeah, the bags yeah. out this and that, <laughs> and they'll try and do little searches in the rooms, yeah. be sneaky this and that, try try and mess with us and yeah. shit like that. But yeah, other than that, like the training routines is just yes, like you said, like CrossFit. Burpees, burpees, dips and chins, lunges, squats, jump squats, jump yeah, lunges, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, body, you know, calisthenics. But has everyone still been doing MMA? Oh, just like the people that are, <laughs> like, <laughs> just the people that think they can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Everyone right, like, still does their pads there, yeah, yeah. you know. The boys definitely, like, want to stay on your toes, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, once those pads come out, everyone coming around trying, you know. Yeah, but because there was a phase there. I remember like when I when I was young, going in jail, all it was was pads. Right? Everyone just done pads. Everyone done the dips, chins, handstands, yeah. squats, pads. That's yeah. all it was. And bro, there was this phase there, I think when UFC become a thing, like a popular thing, yeah. every single person was a grappler. Wow. Every single person, every corner you look in, people with their blankets down, everyone's rolling, <laughs> mate, he's a kickbox in the roof. And it, is wow. it still like that? Is everyone just back Yeah, up, there is those like um, hardcore like, fitness fanatics and that it that are in me. the yard <laughs> yeah. Yeah, i was, was one of them yeah. too so i'll put my hand up there but yeah. no yeah there was those uh people that were like i guess like long termers as well yeah, yeah people yeah. that have been in there for years like they learn how to like to, to build their craft to yeah. like you know especially to like like i guess help other people that are yeah. that are coming through the system that are new all right look come come do this shit, you know yeah, yeah come yeah. over here let me show you how to like hold your hands up right and yeah, shit like yeah, that sick. So yeah, there's definitely like those fitness fanatics yep, in there. Yep, yep. You got into it? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. What What have you been doing since you've been out in training terms? Since I've been out. Yeah. You sucked it or you still training? Nah, every day. Yeah. Oh yeah, hectic, every hectic, day. Yeah. yeah. So like, I've kind of laid low off cardio. I used to do cardio there a lot. You yeah. know, I used to run, and then like um, have my like weights and shit like that, and do like my calisthenics. That yeah. was my routine in there. So like, yeah, nice. coming out now to no routine, I felt like I was a bit lost for a bit. But then as soon as I started going to the gym in the morning, I just found myself again. I go, all right, you know, yeah. this is how like, I can function the best way. Wake up in the morning, go train, this and that. And like, you feel better better about yourself as yeah, well with 100% that, you know? you do. So like, my training routine now has solely just been building like, um, building muscle, you yeah, know? Yeah, building so muscle, got, strength training, kick them yeah. back, have a mad feeds and that, eh? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. You know, I've got my, my um, my body that I want, I've got my body where I want now. So yeah. now I'm just been doing a lot of uh, weights, strength training, yeah. you know. Uh, still stay like with my calisthenics and that, but yeah. just add those weights in yeah. like when I can, you know. Yeah. yeah. Put yeah, on size sick. again, man. Fuck. And it's too much weight. Uh, have you? Yeah. No way. Since you've been out? Uh, yeah, since I've been out. Oh, no way. I, I think I, was, I weighed like 90, 93, 94. Yeah. Solid muscle, this and that. Like, but then, like, uh, the other day I weighed myself, I think I was, like, 85. I was, oh, I was dead tripping set. out. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. it. When, you, when you're inside, you think when you get out, you put on weight. You know what I mean? Exactly. I used to think that because bodgy food in there, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 100%. I used to train and think, bro, if I was outside now, I'd be 130. I'd be this, all the <laughs> mad foods, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you get out and you actually lose weight. Um, see, when you said there, like, you started going to the gym again, waking up. Is that is that important, like... You think after the time, like, that keep a similar structure is important to you? Definitely. So, like, I guess when I first come out, the timing would have been, like, a 
a big uh, reason why I felt felt myself a bit lost too because I come out holiday season, this and that, yeah. parties, this and that, like sober the whole way through though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah, touched yeah. any yeah. of that, you know. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just like partying, coming out to that holiday season, yeah. I, I was just lost. I just, I wasn't waking up early. I'd wake up halfway during the day and think, fuck, I'm outside, like, yeah. it's crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah. But then as soon as like I started getting up in the morning, forcing myself to go gym again, it's yeah. like, yeah, boom, everything started falling into place. Yeah. S studios, this and that, every day yeah. was like busy, you know? So yeah. yeah, for me personally, my routine, like it helps me think yeah, straight, you know? Smart, bro. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. But that when you see when you said you got out holiday season, then it made me think, oh, like the COVID stuff. And then I forgot the whole time you were in was the whole time it was, this COVID yeah, rubbish. Yeah, that's right. Nah, hundred percent. Was that full putrid? I think I've asked someone else before, and they said I don't think on here, but they said it was horrible. There was times where they were locked in, like every second day, pretty much full yeah. day lock in. Nah, jail at that time. Oh, bro, I felt like um, like the situation there, like it was probably one of my hardest times to get through jail yeah, bro. because it was twenty three hour lock ins. <sighs> And like um, they try it like putrid. yeah, it was disgusting. Putrid. And like um, I, I guess like that's what people they don't really understand, because you get a lot of time to think. Especially yeah. it's like a cigarette routine. You know yeah. how cigarette yeah, is. You're yeah, segregated yeah. from everyone. This and that. You're in your cell. You don't see sunlight. Yeah. It was kind of like that, you know. So fucking um. And a lot of days you wouldn't have even known if you're getting out the next day, but it was honestly my worst thing. I think even my missus. She asked me like a month or like two months ago, like, what's the worst thing in jail? The worst, my opinion, the worst thing in jail is like, so you got your routine, you know what I mean? Wherever yeah. you are, say you had Bathurst or whatever, yeah. and you got to get up. So you're ready with your little yard bag, <laughs> 7.30, yeah. you need the door, you've washed your face, you had your coffee, went to the toilet, and you need the door, and you can hear the, screw, the door, you know, the you keys, learn yeah. to hear. Like, and yeah. they're opening and quickly closing them, and you're thinking, nah, it's full day lock-in. Yeah. And then they get to your door saying, nah, full day lock-in. But I hate it. I used yeah. to in your full rage under your bed. Hundred percent. Can't throw your shit. You no, know what 100%. I mean? That, uh, that would have been the worst. You would have copped that so much. Oh, uh, that's what I think, bro. Mm. Like during those COVID times, every you wouldn't know, bro. It'd be the worst feeling. Because at least sure. if you knew, bro. Like if you knew you're getting out, and you got your mindset, you're, you're doing prepared. your things, bro. Yeah, that's right. No uh, visits, nothing, eh? No visits, nothing. Just putrid. But I feel like, um, bro. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I full got comfortable with being alone. So. It was it was very weird for me to 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 come out with a hundred people this and that around me. Yeah, I felt very like in like not insecure but like on my toes. All right, like you know. Yeah, because I got so used to being left in my cell alone. Yeah, like you know, because obviously I had a one out, and like. Where would you have a one out? How'd you get Clarence. a one out, bro? So this new jail, like I feel like they've realised what they've what their flaws were with um. You know those little jails. Yeah. So it will be like seventy percent two outs, and then that that thirty percent. If you're if you're that person, that right guy, that you know someone, you're yep. got you're getting a one you're out. You a one know? Out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was it was good in that that kind of way that's that I could have my own space. One outs, bro. Yeah. That's a lot. Like 100%. some ALJs, like MWR, what is one, one, two, wait, two, one, one or two. two. Yeah. yeah. I went out to the best, the lad. Best. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I got comfortable and like yeah. you know it was just. Like and 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 you know how jail is being yeah. comfortable. That's the worst thing, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I just like as soon as I got my cells, like yeah, mad. Yeah, you know. How long did you have okay. to wait to get a one out? Oh uh, no! As soon as I got there, so there was like the the jail I was at. There was an islander pod. Yeah. There was a Lebo a Muslim pod. There was a yeah, no, two no. or three. What do you four, mean? Like four at pods. Clarence now? Yeah. There's racial pods. Yeah, they were. Are they definitive racial pods or are they just generally an Islander pod or is it actually, no, this is only for Islanders? Nah, so like, um, uh, the trippiest thing was, it was like, like exactly how you said. So boys will land in the yard, the screws will know, all right, not to take them to that pod. Yeah. So there'll be certain times where the screws get it wrong, you know? Yeah. And then like, you know what happens when yeah, they get yeah. it wrong, it just goes sour, you know? So yeah, yeah. They, they used to do it on purpose and bro, it was tripping me out oh, when so the screws used to up. come up to the yeah. to the boys like the obviously there's like not many trumps in that anymore but they'll go to one of the older heads yeah. and say look 
there's an Islander coming. Probably they won't say his name, but they say, look, there's an Islander coming. We're gonna bring him to your pod, and it was like, yeah, sweet. Yeah. You know, especially the same with like all the other different pods. Yeah. You know, like Muslims. Yeah, they'll go straight to they'll yeah, go straight, straight to the to Muslim pod. Curries had about like, three pods, you know. So yeah, <laughs> yeah obviously so many of them. Up, yeah, there's <laughs> a blackout up there. Uh, Clarence, yeah. but you know, good brothers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're mad. Um, but is it corrective service? No, nah, it's a circo run. Uh, it's a circo run um, jail. That's why I feel like they've kind it of makes fixed, more sense. Yeah, it, it makes made, more sense now. Yeah, because yeah. all the things you're saying, I'm thinking of like corrective service. You're thinking CS, like CSI. That. I'm thinking yeah. no way, but they don't care, lad. Like get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. And what's that circo? Is like the private company. Yeah. They're the same people as Park Lee and June A or just the whole different ones? Nah, I feel like uh, they're like, yeah, I think they, 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 they originated in UK or US or oh, something really? like that. Yeah, so yeah, they've yeah. kind of like p- pulled this structure out from there and yeah. try to put it in Australia and shit like that. But yeah, yeah. like f- clearly yeah, wasn't working. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But see when you said they, um, like you got used to being alone. Yeah. And you said like, this might be a weird thing. It's not a weird thing at all, bruh. And... I feel exactly like that, bruh. And uh, how do you feel now? Because look how even you rocked up here, bruh. He's rocking yeah. up 15 deep, lad. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, fucking forget the jail stuff. Yeah, now, but how long you been out? To the day, I reckon about two, not even two months, bro. Not even two months. Yeah. And you got out from where? Clarence. Cheer on up. Rap, bro. Yeah. Clarence, bro. Big drive, but... Fucking best drive, you know. I guess. Sorry, you said it before. There's so many jars. The Grafton one. Yeah. Clarence, the Grafton, one. Grafton. So what? It took like eight hours to get home. Yeah, something like that, yeah. bro. Yeah, we had a lot of pit stops, this and that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah hectic, bro. And what? You've put out a song already, bro. Yeah. Gun song. I heard it, brother. I love it. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Bro. Tell me, tell me about it, about your mind with this song. Yeah. So like my my situation with this song, it was like solely based on how I felt. Yeah. And my experience, like, uh, I guess like you can refer it to jail, but there's a lot of um, lyrics and bars in there that solely explain why my headspace is locked up, yeah. you know? So, yeah, I, I got told, like, one, two, three, bro, go back on jewel, do this, do yeah. that, you know, rap, like, all, all that hard shit. But, like, I'll I be see, honest, bro. Like, interesting. Sorry, keep going. Yeah, 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 I'll be honest, like, my, um, my head wasn't locked there. I yeah. really wanted to explain like the the emotion and shit that i was feeling at yeah. the time and like yeah where my head that is now it's like it wasn't the same in like last two two years yeah 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 like, bro i'm trying to i'm trying to like i'm trying to grow from all that shit yeah i want to you know make my bag and shit like that you know yeah yeah so for me to come out like on a bit of a like less hard kind of track yeah is is why like that's the reason why yeah, I went like that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good choice. And I was the, the reason I was, I was excited when you said that is because that's one of the f- things I want to ask you the most. Because I can see I'm, I'm perceptive and I can yeah. see that you're a deep thinker, and I and I was yeah. and and it makes me think how how do you take it when everyone knows you? So many people around Australia know you, but like whether or not it's for the right, they only know you as a gangster. They exactly. only know you as a driller. They don't 100%. know you. They don't know nothing about you. Do you know what I mean? And how does that make you feel? Bro, like, at the end of the day, like, they can feel the way they feel, you know? Because, yeah. like, that's them, you know? But right. that's the reason why, like, coming out with this song was solely just based on how I was feeling and what I wanted to put out first. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I know our image, like, people just see, all right, bunch of hooligans, bunch right. of thugs from, like, Mount Druitt. But, like, I guess... You know, with a lot of the content we're dropping at the end of the year, by the end of the year, they'll like um, really realize that we're taking this thing a lot more serious. Yeah. You know, we're not just drill rappers or yeah. or like crims catching cases, this and that. Yeah. Nah, there's yeah. there's a lot more to that. You know, a lot more. Eh? Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Can I ask you, lad? What does one four actually mean? Does it that like what does it mean in this most literal term? What does one four mean? Like to me. Yeah. So both, what does it actually mean and what does it mean to you? I guess one for, like, what it means to me is, like, family, you know, like, yeah. and, like, loyalty, this and that, like, because, bro, like, I can vouch for every one of my, my brothers that I call brother. Yeah. That's within our family. I wouldn't really say gang. Yeah. I know, yeah. like, the cops try to label us this and that, but, bro, at the end of the day, like, 
It's kind of it's a family, bro. Straight out, and like. Do you use the word gang for family though? Because I know now you're trying to word it like, you, I know, and I know exactly what you mean. You don't want to mm. call it a gang in the most common perception of what a gang is, but do you like in yourself? Person, do you when you say gang, do you mean your people, yeah. your family, your exactly. uncles, everything? You know what I mean? Because it's more than just like within our crew, within our like um, with our with our family and that and our brotherhood kind of thing. It's more than that, like. Yeah. We got like 15, 14 year old kids from the beaches, like yep. throwing up one four, this and that. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah, yeah. you know. So, like, yeah, for for me, it's like loyalty. Those we we run ourselves with standards and shit. We mm. don't like, you know, we like to keep our head high with our name and shit like that. Yeah. And it's more than just like a bunch of, of kids that came out from like like a disadvantaged area and yeah. shit like that. Just um, you know, doing crime, this and that. It's more than that, bro. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, hectic, bro. You know, like a lot of people say. Say and not not talking specifically about you, but also about me. Everything. A lot of people, uh, they're always dickheads. They always carry on like, um, why are people obsessed with people from disadvantaged areas? Like, who cares? You're from the houses. Who cares? This and that. This and that. But you know what? Like, I don't know if I've said this before, but but like the story's always more special. And I don't know if anyone's ever said that to you because I feel like you know, like when we're from the housing commission areas, the same but different, right? And and we talk about it because mm. it's a thing. But you see other people out there and they're like, who cares? Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Definitely. And it's like, but I'll, I'll always think because, bro, the story of adversity is, it's a big thing. Like people are really interested in it. You know what I mean? Like, it's all right. No, you're the fastest runner in the world, but you had a good life before that. Good yeah. on you. But when people come from nothing and become the fastest runner in the world, it's, it's, worth, a, it's worth a book. It's worth a movie. You know what I mean? That's oh, why yeah, like bro. people, they, they confuse when we put emphasis um, on the area and the disadvantage and this and that, you know what I mean? They confuse sure. that and it's, there is a lot more to be appreciated than what people say, you know what I mean? But they dirty up because they're from their mad lives and no one's interested in them because they're boring, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah it's true or not, but... It's true, bro. Yeah, but like it's boring, lad. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, let me ask you, see how you said, bro, you got boys from, young lads from the beaches, from one up one four and this and that. Um... Do you ever, whether you like it or not, you're a role model. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, um, do you ever take that into consideration of what that means, and are you at the point where you think about what you can possibly do with that, or what you want to do with that, or? No, hundred percent. I yeah. see myself as a leader. Yeah. I'm not no like someone to take orders or this and that. No, fuck that. Yeah. Like I'm, I'll stand on my own two feet. If I feel something's yeah. spoken out of school, or something I'll speak up. And that's just what I reckon like, a lot of the youth really need to understand is they got their own mouth, they got their own two feet, their own two hands to do whatever they want, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really just about them finding out who they want or who they are and what they want to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because like, I feel like, yeah, that's something definitely missing with uh, the youth nowadays is like, like they see one thing, let's go that way, you know? All right, that's in style, let's go that way. Yeah, But they don't understand 100%. like, everyone's built different. Yeah. You don't have to follow the crowd. You can stand out. You can do your thing, you know? You don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. take orders if you don't want to take orders, bro. You, you know you know what I'm saying. You're, yeah, you're, yeah. I love your what own you're saying. Man. I love what yeah. you're saying. And you worded that in a good way. You didn't just word it in the, in the softest way that you could. You worded that well. How does it, how do you feel, bro? Like, you, you, you're, a, you're, you're a famous rapper yeah. and you're part of a crew, lad, and you got, like, everything going on around you and that, like... Do you, do you try to still stay by yourself? Like not being, you, you, it's obviously not trying to be rude to the boys, oh, they mm. understand, but it's like, oh, you're always with them? Like, I, I, I guess like for me, if I feel like bad energy or if, I, if I'm not like, um, just moving forward with yeah. someone, like in my head now, like, it's just distancing myself with them, you know? It's, yeah. But like with, with our, with, with, within my circle, like, uh, all of that shit, like, it goes out the window because, no, like... It doesn't exist in your circle, like, yeah. You know, my yeah. brothers, like, I, I bled for them, you know, like, yeah. we broke bread together, we were starving together, this and that, so, like... Like how you say... Obviously, I'll keep song. my standards, like, still high in that, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I like I how you the said that every... in your new song, like, the boys that weren't there for you, you know what I mean? It's like, pretty yeah. much, like, the way I took it is, like, yeah, bro, you're ready to cut people and you got your people now and you learnt, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly yeah. how I feel, I've, I've, you know? I found, like... Like my people, yeah, you know, and like, yeah, you're but you're lucky, bro. Yeah, you're 100%. actually so lucky to have because you know what, like, 
it might sound funny or it might sound sad in a way, but I feel the exact same way as you. And when I heard that song, I feel the same way as you, bro. And and it's like the Appreciate people that, that weren't bro. there for me and yeah. the people like that, you know what I mean? And I cut them off. But in my circumstances, why I say you're lucky, it was I didn't have anyone there for me. I didn't have any friends, yeah. and no phone calls, no nothing. That's why I'm just by myself every day. A lot of you know what I mean. And oh, yeah, so I, sure. I actually live by how you live by, bro. And it's and, and you know what I mean. It's, but I say you're lucky, bro, because you had the boys. You know what I mean. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm very blessed with that situation, you know, because like, like you said, like I'm coming out and seeing like a lot of faces, this and that. It's mm. just it, I could tell, like, bro, like, like. You're coming with that energy, like, we're sweet. Like, yeah. you know, uh, bro, where was you? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I know, like, you know, my real ones and shit like that, I'll be able to, like, fucking... There's no love lost there, you know? Yeah. And that's, like, uh, specifically why you said, oh, you rolled 15 deep, this yep. and that. Because there were the boys, like, yep. that was there. There were the boys, like, you know, making sure my peoples were sweet outside and yeah, that. Yeah. So, yeah, I do feel very blessed, bro. Yeah, 100%. Can I ask you about what made you choose your ver your f to release a solo song now just got out uh i feel like the the situation with that is just like just the way i felt you know yeah. especially like um like with our with our uh, like brotherhood one four it's like um it's always gonna be there you know yeah but like for me to come out and like i want to make my own bag it's something that like I want to do so that's why I specifically went that route and chose to do a single yeah. under like um, my own my own Spotify my own YouTube page this and that and like yeah that's that's kind of the reason why I wanted yeah, to yeah. go this route you know and you had something to say that was oh yeah that yours, too so yeah. I just really wanted to like tell my story yeah like up until till now specifically of like my struggle yeah. you know me being real with myself Cause there was a lot of uh not really like controversy but like there was a lot of people saying oh bro you know do this do that and i was like yeah i took it into consideration but i knew, always knew like nah i'm going that way yeah. i want to i want to do i want to do my single i want to do my track and i guess that's what just like what we touched base on like um kind of like being able to speak up and you know? Yeah, yeah. Exactly comes what with you um, said. Yeah. Yeah, be true you know? to yourself, bro. Comes with, like, that leadership role, yeah. too. You, you want to do this, then do it. Simple as that. Don't, yeah, like, yeah. wait till you get ass or something like that. Just, yeah. you know, do you. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, lad, without giving anything away, what's coming up for 1-4, brother? What's playing? What's in the mix? What's in the mix? Oh, bro. Bangers on the way? Bangers. Of course. Yeah, like, right, just bangers. I can't yeah. really, like, um explain the way we're going right yep. now it's just the road we're taking and we're just seeing how it goes but like like you know it's, it's still us it's with our roots and that but they're a lot more mainstream shit like that yep. you know 100%. so at the end of the day like i know a lot of people just see us as fugs this and that like but at the end of the day we're all like um artists too 100%. you know like, i feel like um i've perfected my craft and i'm ready to to uh drop this solo track but with one four Yo. Oh, bro, it's gonna be a crazy year. Hectic. Fuck, I know, hard work, brother. Yeah, bro. Show on, brother. Thank you for coming on the no, search, bro. I appreciate bro. it, bro. Mad, bro. And Thanks thank for you for being me. your first interview. Oh, Love for that, sure. Bro. Mad.